Today is part two of our tiered tray DIYs. Keep watching. I'm Brandy and this is Making It My Own. Today is going to be more laid back and simple. I'm going to start off with this little project that I did back in the summer, I do believe. And I'm going to take off all the pieces. This is a little block. You can essentially get these at Dollar Tree, at Target Dollar Spot. You can cut a piece of wood, whatever you have. You can use a piece of decorative paper. You can use construction paper. You can use crafting paper. You can use Dollar Tree ornaments, snowflakes, trees, whatever you want to use. This is me playing it out in my head to see exactly what I want to do here. I have a scrap of fabric. I also have some red and white that came from Dollar Tree. And of course, a little Dollar Tree ornament. These are ribbons from Dollar Tree. And I'm trying to decide how I want to decorate this. I kind of have an idea of what I want to do with it, but I'm still trying to kind of brainstorm how I want to do it. I wanted to leave this in for you because I don't want you to think that I have an idea and I just immediately go to it and everything's perfect because it's not, it does not work that way. It is a process in which I edit a lot of things out, you know, in the video so you don't have to see it all, but I want you to see that I'm just like you. I go through a thousand things you know, if you're that type of crafter before you get what you really like. So I had my block turned long ways and I had the block turned sideways and just trying to decide how I wanted to wrap this ribbon around it. This particular ribbon I got, I think, on clearance. I want to say I got this on clearance from uh, Walmart, either Walmart or Dollar General. But you know, pretty much a little basic ribbon. It is wired, but you don't need wired ribbon. You can use anything um, that you have. I just wanted to make sure that I covered up where I'd torn that paper on the block. Then I have some of this gorgeous polka dot ribbon, and this you can get pretty much year round at Dollar Tree. I've seen it at all of my Dollar Tree stores. And you can just get it over there near the, the garden section. It's the little yellow and green packaging. It's good ribbon though, and it is wired, you know, in case you want to get it and use it on another project. This is also wired, though that's not necessary. And I'm just going to put it around the top. I'm just layering this because I like the look of it. I like the polka dots underneath. They almost look like snowballs, I think. And then, you know, the trucks have the Christmas trees in the back, and they're covered in a little dusting of snow, so I think it looks good together. I'm going to use a little foam block here to give me some elevation and put down this little tree Dollar Tree, I think it's for the mini trees, a little ornament. But I like to craft with these things. Give them lots of purpose and meaning. Give it some new life. So, so far you can see what I've done here and I just kind of want it to look like a present, like a gift to sit on my tear tray. I'm measuring out my ribbon here. I know you can't see it and I do apologize for that. I was having an off day um, when I was doing this. After I cut my finger, it kind of put me in a rotten mood. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I just measured it across the top. I'm bending it over. This is wired ribbon, and you do need that for this. I'm just cutting through the wire here. I have three loops on one side, two loops on the other side. That was an accident. I had intended to just do two on each side, but it worked out for the better, I think. I think it looks really cute how it turned out. You're going to put a piece of jute or whatever you have, a little scrap of something right in the middle just to tie it off. I'm going to put it in a double knot because you're going to do quite a bit of pulling on this ribbon and you don't, don't want it to slip out. Then you're just going to take the loops of your bow and just start pulling them apart just like this. And this is when I realized that I had five instead of three. I mean, instead of four, <laughs> rather. But I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. I think it looks okay. We don't do everything perfectly and we don't always get it right the first time so just you know go with it just kind of go with it these are happy mistakes okay so it looks kind of like a flower or a piece of candy doesn't it we're going to cut off our excess because we don't need to tie this to anything and then we're going to make tails now i made a bunch of different kinds of tails i'm just going to glue this down and then we're going to look at some options of what you could do if you want to do something that may be different than my end result. And then I'm just going to take some little berries. I had some extras to fill in that hole on my Christmas tree. I think it looks cute there. Okay. 
cute so far, huh? Okay, so this is where wired ribbon comes in handy because it will allow your ribbons to stand out straight if you want to have them standing out straight. I tried this um, just to look at it and see what I thought, but I think it's way too big for that. It's way out of scale. So now what I'm doing, which you can't see again, I apologize for that. Do you see there? You can see a little bit. It's just kind of crimping that ribbon. Just kind of crimping it back and forth, almost like a little pleat or accordion fold. And then I'm just tucking that in to see if I like that. Mm, no, I don't really like that either. So what I end up doing is just trimming it off and cutting it down to make it shorter. I'm just going to pull it out of there and then tuck that in underneath. And that is much better. But you can do it any way that you want to do it. Then I'm going to place some little berries in the middle there with a little bit of hot glue. And this is how this one is going to look. I think it turned out cute. It was very simple and it was easy to do, wasn't it? Makes it easy to make it exactly how you like it. Follow me on my social media, Pinterest, Facebook, and Instagram. I would love to see you there. Okay, so now we're gonna use this antique looking piece of foam. Any type of ribbon or trim that you have, and you can use pom-poms, you can use little beads, you can use miniature pom-poms, you can use anything you want. I want you to make this your own, but I'm gonna show you what I did. I'm gonna cut this cone in half, and I'm just using my metal ruler to do that. And to get it nice and even on the bottom, I'm just rubbing that across that sand and block, and it, now I have a flat bottom. I have some old ribbons that I can choose from. I just wanted to show you my little collection here of ribbons that I've thrifted. And then this little piece of trim here, that's lace. And then I have a beige piece, and this is the one I do end up using. Love it, I had just enough to. We're gonna use masking tape because hot glue and foam don't usually work good together. The styrofoam, it kind of melts it and um, you can hurt yourself. So we're just gonna use this masking tape or whatever type of tape. You could use duct tape if you have it. It does not have to be pretty. You can see here it's wrinkled and messy and leaving lumps and bumps all over here. You're not gonna see it, it doesn't matter. The point of this is just to give you some protection. It's a little buffer between your styrofoam and the glue that you're gonna be putting on here. I do like the fact that it's a creamy color and the color of the trim that I have is also pretty much the same color. So you, if you see through it, you won't see anything. Okay, so I just kind of made a point with a little ball on the top and then wrapped around it. And then we're gonna start at the bottom, wrapping this trim around this little piece. And as you can tell, this is gonna be a Christmas tree. So you can see what we're doing here, just a little line of glue. I don't want the bottom of the trim to hang way over, but I do want it to go over just a little bit because I think that this piece of trim looks a little bit like, I don't know, like it would be on a pine tree, right? Like boughs or branches. I don't know, it just, it kind of felt that way to me. So we're gonna just keep going around. I'm gonna go up about mm, half inch up above the row underneath put just a little bit of glue at a time and then wrap it and then a little bit of glue and then wrap it. Otherwise, you're gonna have hot glue that's going to expose you to being burned possibly. And then you also run the risk of the glue drying before you get your ribbon on there or running it through there and making a mess accidentally. You know, just a little at a time. Let's take our time with this. Just like I'm taking my time with this video. Not a lot of fast motion going on here. We wanted to slow it down a little bit for the second half. So you're just gonna continue around like this all the way up until you're almost at the top. No need to make a peak unless you just want to fill it all the way up to the top because I'm gonna be putting a topper on my tree and you won't be able to see underneath. So once you get it where you need it to be, just cut it off, trim your little line there and glue down what needs to be glued down and you can see the basic shape. Now I have a collection of thread spools that I've thrifted and we're gonna use this for the trunk of our tree. How pretty for a little vintage looking tree. Again, with the masking tape, put it on the bottom so we don't melt anything. Easy enough. 
Hey, if you want to show me some love, you can buy me a coffee. See the link in the description box below. Thank you so much, Michelle, for spoiling me with coffees. And I do mean coffees, lots of coffees. Mmm, yummy, thank you, thank you. So here's our little tree and it stands up perfectly. You can add some little mini pom-poms or bells or anything you want on your tree. But I love this little foam. This came off of a piece of garland and I cut it off. It's a little foam star and it's painted gold and I think it's so pretty and the scale is just right for this little tree. It almost looks like a little Victorian tree. Maybe a little shabby chic. But you know I gotta rustic this up and I'm gonna add some greenery to it. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that same mistletoe pick that I've used on our projects in part one. So be sure you watch part one. And I'm just gonna cut it down and place it on the bottom and add some more of those berries that we used on the first half of the videos as well. Place that down right there. Just like that. And she is done. What a little beauty. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel, if you enjoy these types of videos, if you like the style, if you like the way I edit, any reason that you find my videos appealing, I would love to have you here as part of our YouTube family. You can see here the projects that we did in part one and in part two. I will have links for you so you can go back and watch the first part. And then remember yesterday, or the time before we didn't have our box lit up look at there the hot cocoa box mug is lit up now and all of her glory there she stands how about that what do you think about all that which one was your favorite of all of these projects i would love to know i'm so grateful for you and you all bring me joy i'm so happy that you stopped by and i'll see you again soon bye